We have with us Jaggi Singh, who's part of No One Is Illegal Montreal and CLAC 2010. So I'll just say a, a few quick words. First of all, um, for me, uh, there's this phrase uh, that organizers use, the action is in the organizing, which means uh, it's in our other spaces, you know, when we're doing popular education work, awareness raising, that's where we do our actions. And I, I really commend and I'm really inspired. I feel like hugging every organizer here in Toronto for what they've accomplished already um, in the midst of an unprecedented fear campaign by this billion dollar security operation by Stephen Harper. Essentially, starting tomorrow and the days after, the executive board of Global Capitalism will be meeting here in Toronto, behind these fences. Uh, they are people responsible for enormous misery and oppression, and they're people who deserve to be confronted. Um, uh, there are people who feel like we should enter into a logic where we want to sit down with them and sort of negotiate the terms of our own misery, or talk about how to make the cages that we're in a little bigger. Well, I'm not interested in that. And, groups that we're part of, the mobilizations we're part of, are not interested in that. We're interested in expressing that anger and that rage and real hope that people have against that capitalist system. And this fence is more than a, than a metaphor. I mean, there are fences like this all over the world that are responsible for essentially a, a global apartheid, where on one side you have a global elite, on the other side you have people who are a little bit more privileged, who jet town, and then you have others who survive every day who have to deal with the police state. And so what we see in Toronto is, is a microcosm of what we see all over the world. And we can fall for this logic of violence versus nonviolence or about lobbying. But I guess I'm here today to stand with people who, who question the legitimacy of this fence and support those who want to take down the fence, uh, take down those fences and those walls that separate us, to take down those fences and walls that prevent us from attacking, and I use that word, from attacking the people who are responsible for, for, for enormous misery in the world. Uh, to think that you can uh, convince the leaders of the G20 and the managers of global capitalism who are basically going to spend three days uh, engaged in a massive, unprecedented transfer of wealth to themselves uh, as a result of this financial crisis, to think that somehow you can convince them to be nicer uh, is a lot like thinking you can convince a tiger to be a vegetarian. So I feel proud and I feel like where my place is is with protesters who are using a variety of tactics and strategies to confront this summit. Uh, and I'm glad to be here. There's nowhere else I'd rather be. Um, and I'll turn it over to others. Thank you.